For some in our society, these measures involve sacrifices that none of us would wish anyone to bear. For victims of domestic abuse, it means being trapped in a nightmare. The true evil of domestic abuse is that it leaves vulnerable people, including children, living in fear in the very place where they should feel most safe and secure, inside their own home. Though domestic violence can leave physical masks, the true extent of the inflicted pain is much deeper than those marks. It can be invisible. These are emotional scars and scars that for some will never heal and which can even pass to the next generation whose young eyes see things that they never should and hear things that none of us would wish our children to witness. As a father of three girls, I cannot even imagine women and young children being put in this situation, but they are. And we must be alive to the reality of what is happening in all too many homes across the country. I want us to defend the rights of those women and those children wherever we can. And that is what we're going to do. And this is not a crime inflicted solely on women. It affects men too. This government has already prioritised tackling domestic abuse. The Domestic Abuse Bill, which had its second reading in Parliament last week, is a landmark piece of legislation which will create the first ever legal definition of domestic abuse. And this is important because it holds those responsible to account and gives those suffering at the hands of others more confidence that action will be taken and perpetrators brought to justice. Today, I can confirm that through the Domestic Abuse Bill, the government will also be ensuring that, that the victims of domestic violence get the priority need status that they need to access local housing services much more easily. This is a fully funded commitment which will mean that no victim of domestic violence has to make the unbearable choice between staying somewhere that they know is unsafe or becoming homeless. This government has been clear that we are determined to break the silence that, sur that surrounds victims, to stamp out the stigma and to strengthen our support for survivors. We've already announced an extra £15 million to strengthen our support and an extra £16 million is going directly to refuge services. But we recognise the extra pressures that are being created due to COVID-19 and that that necessitates more support. While the necessary social distancing measures remain in place, it is harder than before for victims of domestic abuse to reach out to their friends, to their family, to colleagues and to neighbours for the support that they urgently need. Today I can announce a package of over £76 million in new funding to support the most vulnerable in society during the pandemic.